how can we unite the Muslim Ummah in this day and age? Good question. Uh, hard question. Talking is the best way. Um, too many divisions in Islam. But inshallah, Allah will see things right and lead us in the right way. That's all I can say. If we are saying that we have to unite, we have to understand the message and to follow it like it has been said. Yeah? If we, have, we are following a sunnah, but we are going in different kind of, of ways. And I'm not happy for this. Yeah, I think the Muslims should come together and unite. I think Palestine is a, like what's going on in Palestine, I think has awoken the Ummah and should be like a lesson and to teach us that we have to come together as that's what Allah wants us to do. Given the situation today, do you feel like the Muslims want a leader, someone who is their voice, someone who can, you know, they can look up to that will stand up for themselves and be united under that leader? Politically, yes. Islamically, I think the Quran is the strongest basis. But politically, yes, definitely. Uh, uh, me, personally, uh, honestly, I'm, I'm waiting for uh, Imam Mahdi mm. yeah, and uh, Hazrat Isa al -Islam. that's it. It's a good idea, I think, in the Arab world, they should bring it back as it's a fair and just system of like leaders. That's when, when there was the Khalif, that's when the Muslim Ummah prospered. And what qualities would you like to see in a leader? Empathy, understanding, uh, compassion and belief in Islam as the way forward. Um, you have to be honest, uh, same like our Nabi Salam. When we are talking about honesty, is in every angle. Like what Allah said to you in Quran, what Allah said in Sunnah, you need to follow Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu we need to be humble. I don't know how you interpret that. Some people interpret that in different ways. But yeah, the Caliphate is coming. I don't know how or when or why. But I'll leave everything in Allah's hands.